This historic moment is brought to you by Bucksport Sporting Goods, pioneers of outdoor sporting goods since 1948, and by Ming Tree GMAC Real Estate, the service you deserve from the people you trust. I'm Bill Morrill, and this is 101 Milestones. Fort Humble was established in 1853 as a garrison for federal troops to protect Native Americans as well as the settlers. The challenges facing these troops were tremendous, and who can blame the Indians for not rolling over for the whites? And the vigilantism of the whites was barbaric. The only original building left standing is this hospital, which contains artifacts and interpretive displays. The fort offers an opportunity to glimpse the early struggle between the settlers and Indians. There's also a collection of steam rail and logging equipment that's fired up on various weekends throughout the year. There's also a great view of the Bayshore Mall as well. Fort Humboldt is known for the time Ulysses S. Grant spent here as quartermaster in 1854. While his time here was brief, it left a lasting impression on the community. In the 1930s, the Days of General Grant was a four-day celebration centering on the 4th of July. Business firms went all out making storefronts reflect pioneer days. Like this shot from the Chevy dealer, the male citizens grew beards and both men and women dressed in the garb of the 19th century. These photos were from Arcata's Sealy Studios. Can you identify any of these people from the 30s? The community seemed to have participated in a big way. The celebration repeated four or five years in a row. The irony of all this was that Grant hated Humboldt. In the 1850s, it was a lonely outpost with very little to offer such a man of his distinction. There were a few saloons that helped Grant get through his misery, though. Take time to visit Fort Humboldt, one of 101.